Come gather round, Miss Martha's got a story. Can't wait to hear where it all might take us this time. Everyone knows that treasure lies inside these pages. We want to be hanging out with story. Everybody wants to be there when Miss Martha reads. Hi, friends. Welcome to Miss Martha Reads Storytime. I'm Miss Martha, and I'm so excited that you are joining me today for another outstanding story. Before we get started, though, I have a question to ask. Do you have a pet? And if you don't have a pet, do you have a particular pet that you would like to have? Well, in today's story, we're going to hear all about a little girl who really wanted a pet. The title of today's story is Layla and the Bunny. Today's story will be read by my friend, Akimity Fields. Akimity is the author of and the illustrator of today's story. And she attends Hunter B. Andrews School in Hampton, Virginia. Let's put on our good listening ears. Click, click, so that we can hear about this story. My name is Akimini Fields and the title of my story is Layla and the Bunny. Let's get started. One day, a little girl named Layla was in her garden. As she sat there enjoying the sunshine, she heard a boom. It sounded like something fell off the trash can. Layla got scared, but she was still brave. She left the garden to go check it out. When she saw that it was just a cute bunny, she wanted it to be her pet. The bunny got scared and ran away. The girl was very sad. The next day, this time, she was really sad because she thought about the bunny running away again. When she saw the bunny in the grass, this time, it ran up to Layla. She got so excited because the bunny was really very nice. The next day, Layla went out to the garden again. This time, Layla snuck the bunny into her house because she knew her parents would not allow it. When she got to her room, she noticed the bunny was sad. Layla realized that the bunny probably had a family and that she just kidnapped a bunny. She thought to herself, what if someone took me away from my family? This thought made her sad, so she took the bunny back to the garden so it can be with its family. That night, Layla told her parents about the bunny. It surprised her with a bunny from the pet store. Layla was very happy she finally had a pet bunny. The end. Thank you guys for listening to my story. Bye. Wow, friends, this is an amazing story. Akimini is not only a great writer, but she's also an awesome reader. I really enjoyed this story, and I'm so happy that Layla was able to get her special pet. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, you know I always have to remind you to... Practice, practice, practice your reading every single day to exercise your brain because I want you to be the best reader that you can be. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day and I hope that I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, friends. Mm -hmm.